What's going on everyone, it's RGB Tech back here again. In this video, I'll be setting up and testing the official WinLater 10.1 version on a Mali GPU device. This one brings some big improvements for Mali GPU devices, especially for MediaTek or Exynos Mali phones. And thanks to Bruno Dev for making this mind-blowing update and for working on the Vortec graphics driver. You can now actually run DirectX 11 or 10 titles with Vortec on the DXVK version, like we do on Snapdragon. I'm not kidding, guys, it's for real. In the previous update, you were limited to DirectX 9 on Mali, but that's fixed now with this update. Let's get started. Same as usual, you can install it directly as an update. I've already installed WinLater. The phone I'm using right now has the MediaTek Dimensity 7300 with a Mali G6 15 2-core GPU. The phone has 8 gigs of RAM. Anyway, I'll close everything and let's open WinLater. I've already added some games to the container. First, let's go to settings. As usual, the MIDI sound font is added. Set the box 64 version to 0.3.5 and set the preset to performance or stability for some games. In the custom performance preset, set the DynaRec safe flags value to zero. Now save the settings. Now create a new container. Set the resolution to low 600p. The graphics driver is set to Vortec. Go to driver configuration. Vulkan 1.3 is already set by default. Now go to Exposed Extensions and uncheck Vulkan Extended Dynamic State. Because on some phones, this can create graphical issues or errors. Image cache size is set to 256 megabytes. This may vary from phone to phone, so I'll leave it at default. Also set max device memory to 2 to 4 gigabytes. Enable the FPS meter if you want. Set the audio driver to pulse audio. DXVK is set to 1.10.3. Set the DXVK version based on the titles you run. Or you can add more components like set the DXVK version you prefer. All right, everything else is the same as usual. Go to environment variables. And if you want detailed FPS stats, add a variable. Choose DXVK HUD and set the value to one. You can enable dev info, FPS meter, or other stats if you want or try the Gallium HUD preset, which is very simple with FPS readings. Now let's go to Advanced Same as usual. Set Startup Selection to Aggressive. Set Windows Version to Windows 10. In Processor Affinity, enable all CPU cores. Now save the container. Boot the container system. All right, let's first check out the Direct 3D test. As you can see, it's working fine without any issues. It shows the GPU usage, driver version, and Vortec driver for our Mali GPU. You can now run titles like GTA 5 and others that are based on DirectX 11 or 10. If we go to GPU info, you can see this phone's Mali GPU is configured with the Vulkan driver. You can also see the memory heap size and OpenGL compatibility profile. It should work like we've seen on Snapdragon, but it may still have some optimization issues because there are a lot of different Mali GPUs in the market. Anyway, let's see how it actually performs. I've already added some games to the container and this one is Max Payne 3, so I'll add it to the container shortcut. All right, guys, now it's time for the test. I already tried GTA 5, but unfortunately, it's crashing at first mission during loading. I'll do a separate video on that soon. Maybe I need to change some settings in the configuration file. So anyway, Let's start with Just Cause 2. These are the recommended settings in the Vortec driver. All right. As you can see, it's loaded, and this game is based on DirectX 10. You can also see the GPU usage. WinLater emulation finally works on Mali GPUs as well. There are still some stutters and lag. This is just the beginning, and it still needs more optimization. That's fine. We're getting a pretty decent 25 to 30 FPS, and it looks really good. All right. All right, it's even going up to the 40s. That's pretty cool. It drops back to the 20s sometimes, but it's still fine. Now let's go to the next one, Max Payne 3. It's based on DirectX 11 and is almost similar to GTA 5 in graphics, 
using the same presets. All right, we're on the menu. Let's go to its graphic settings. DirectX 11 is set, and everything is on normal settings. Now let's load the game. Look at this, guys. This is actually insane. We're running a DirectX 11 title on a Mali GPU device, still without proper drivers. Well, we all know the Snapdragon versions are better optimized and run smoother, and we can drop this game down to DirectX 10 or 9 if needed, but we're playing it at default. All right, so that's all for this video. And this win later update finally brings DirectX 10 and 11 support to Mali with the Vortec driver, like it's unbelievable to be honest. And while it still needs optimization, it's a huge step forward. I'll also do a separate video for the GTA 5 test with some configurations. And if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe to our channel for more, and I'll see you in the next one.